Hey, what's up Wix Nation? Welcome back to another video here on the Wix Training Academy channel. My name is Sarah Michaels and in today's video, I am going to be walking you through a design tutorial and showing you how to recreate a really cool eye-catching uh, strip just like the one you see here on the screen and what exactly you would need to do in order to create that. Okay, so if you haven't yet already, make sure that you go ahead and click on subscribe here to the channel because there's lots of amazing content and if you don't wanna miss it, make sure you also click on the bell so that you would actually get notified when a new video drops. So, alrighty, so as you can see, the element that she has here on her website, um, when we're scrolling up and down, you can see that it's a strip, so it's gonna be a long strip background with like a parallax effect, and she's also got a container box here, different font, and then she's using some custom font. Now, I believe there's another video here and it should be underneath of like the content hacks or tutorials playlist. You should be able to find it here on the channel. And I showed you how and where to find custom fonts like really affordably and how to upload those to your own website, how to get the shadow effect on them, the whole thing. So that's in a different video. So in this specific video, let's say that we want to add that, like a strip that looks like that onto our own website. So what you would do is go in here and we're gonna start with adding in a strip. And I always like to do um, just the classic strips to start with because I really like to customize things from scratch. So that's what we're gonna do here to recreate what Ashley has down. All right, so you can see that this is what she's got. Now, keep in mind, you're probably going to want to use your um, some of the assets that you wanna have ready before you start designing would be some of the photos that you wanna use. Uh, and if you don't have any professional photos of yourself, you don't have to worry about it. You can absolutely use selfies. You can get some really good lighting. Natural lighting works awesome. Um, you can take a headshot and you can even use a couple different apps like Canva to be able to edit out the background or you know make the photo pop a little bit more, make it look a little better. So just grab a photo of yourself if you are adding in an about me, like a really cool about me strip here. Okay, so have that picture handy. So the first thing we're gonna do is go in and change the strip background. Now, it's really interesting if we look what she has here, she's kind of got like a grayscale background and we could absolutely recreate that. Now, if you see, you, um, I like to find images and videos either from Canva. I have and use a Canva Pro subscription that I absolutely love. Um, otherwise, Wix has integrated with Unsplash, and so you should be able to find a very significant amount of images, if not from the Wix photo library, directly from Unsplash. Now, I personally, I don't recommend Shutterstock. Um, there, it's discounted here through the Wix dashboard and it's a lot less than what you would pay elsewhere. So I mean, if it's worth it to you and you find something you love, go for it. But there are, you know, there's places where it's gonna be free, like Canva Pro, it's absolutely worth it uh, in my opinion. So that's kind of where if I can't find something in Unsplash, or Wix, that's where I'll look. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look here in Unsplash. Now, one of the things I could do is uh, if I'm bringing in maybe kind of like a, a beachy kind of vibe, which <laughs> if you stick around long enough, you know that my brand is like super beachy. I, I like like pinks and turquoise kind of colors. So let's just pretend that that would be what I would wanna do here. Um, so what I can do is then I can say, all right, do I wanna leave the color and like have color behind it, which you could do, or in this case, you could always go ahead and click on change the strip background and you could go into the settings and, oh, let's see here. 
we want to edit the actual image. So that's what I just clicked on. And I don't know if I vocalized that, but when you go into the image and you see these little, almost like slider buttons next to the settings, if you click on that, it's going to bring up the image editor. So then this is where you can uh, like pop a filter onto it. And in this case, I would go with a, um, let's see, there's mellow, that's a little too stark, or there's faded. I kind of like that, I guess, a little bit. So let's just play around with it. Um, you can see that there's a bunch of different strip colors. So maybe if you were going to go with like a flamingo color or jelly bean, they've got unicorn strip. Or if we want to do exactly what we're looking at here, she has more of the black and white, I believe. So let's go ahead and go with that route. And then it says add an overlay in. So there's a couple different ways to do this. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to like grayscale the photo. Okay. So when I grayscale this photo, what it's going to do is you can see now, and now I can go ahead and I can go to the settings and in the settings, this is where I can add in, like let's, you see how hers kind of has like a darker, so it makes the white font pop. You're going to want to then add in a darker color behind the image, like a gray. And then we're going to adjust the image opacity and we're going to put it down a little bit so that the gray is what's standing out. You see what I mean? So you can see how she's got the gray here when we go back in, depending on the gray that you're using, um, it should look a little bit like this. Okay. All right. So you can really still make out that it's waves in the background. It's just, it's gray. All right. So that's the first thing. Now the next thing that we're going to do and what I would recommend is adding in a box. Now when I'm working with strips, I also like to work with boxes. So I would go in and add in a box. And what we really want is we want to make the box be invisible. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and drag the box and attach it, make sure that it's attached to the strip. And then we're gonna go ahead and click on the design. And we're gonna go into customize design. And when we go into the fill color and the opacity, we're gonna turn it all the way down. So that's how you can create an invisible container box so that you can stick all of these different elements to the box, which means that when you start to edit on the mobile, it's gonna keep them together a little bit better. So that's kind of one of my little design hacks. Now, let's say that we wanna add some font in here. So let's add in some text. Okay, so let's see what she has. She has, hey there, in all caps. So I would say that would look something like, let's see here. Let's go with this one for now. Okay. And we'll turn this into white. All right. And then we'll go ahead and attach it. So you can then see that you can like turn the font this way. Let's see what size it is. That looks a little bit bigger. So we'll go ahead and do 55. All right, so this is where you can start to like play around with the font. Um, I would say the line spacing, character spacing, I'm gonna squish it together a little bit more because I didn't like it being so far apart. Okay, all right. And then I'm gonna go in and add some more text. And let's see here, I'm just gonna add this one in. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna click on edit text and I'm going to head in here and I'm gonna go to upload fonts and I'm gonna upload this one to this site. This was a font that I had purchased. You can watch the tutorial on it. Uh, I showed you how to do that. And you can definitely, definitely upload your own font. So I'm gonna be using that one. Okay, so it says I'm, okay, let's say that I'm Sarah, <laughs> effects. So when I go into effects, I can add in, sorry guys, I'm in my eye here. Um, I can add in the shadow, I can add in all of, so this is just underneath of the effects here under that tab, okay? So um, that's kind of where it's gonna make your font stand out just a little bit more. All right. Okay, edit text, and again, I might just 
make the font pop a little bit. Okay. All right. So then what I would do is I would go in and add in a whole section of text here. So again, you can go in here and you can add some text in. Um, obviously, if you want it to be, oh, this one looks good. Okay. So that looks like a really nice text for this particular section. All right. So then the last thing that I would do is I would go over here and I would add in another box. Okay. So I would add in another box because now I'm going to be working on this section right here. Okay. Um, and I want to make sure that I'm putting this box on the site correctly. So in my case, I would probably use pink, hot pink, obviously. <laughs> um, okay. And I would move the box, this one over just a little bit. And actually I'm probably going to change this and I'm going to darken up the color that's behind. Um, oh, 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 what did I do? <laughs> No. Oh, I think I messed it up. I did. Um, I accidentally did an image here. Okay. So we'll go in here and we will add in, let's do a darker color and then do like, like this. Okay. So as you can see, then that's going to make the font pop just a little bit more. Um, for example, Oh, collapsible text. That's fun. That's not what I wanted though. So let's delete that again. Let's go ahead and get the toolbar back up here. If you ever lose the toolbar, it's sneaky. Sometimes it likes to hide. Just go ahead and click on the tools and then toolbar and that will pop up. And so, okay, there we go. That's collapsible text. Cool. So the next thing I want to do is I want to go in and add an image and I would personally go to my image uploads, but obviously, um, I don't have any because this is just my test site, but that's where you would upload your media, your beautiful mugshot right there onto the site. So let's see, site files. I wanna switch that back because <laughs> we worked so hard on it. Okay, settings, and I'm gonna turn this a little bit darker, you guys, and I'm gonna adjust the opacity here. Okay, there we go. That makes it pop just a little bit more. All right, so as you can see, you can turn this to however you want. You're, you're gonna have to play around with it a little bit to get the correct grayscale, to make the font look good, to make the white, if this is exactly what you're looking to do. Um, and then when I go back here, I would then click on add and I would go into the images. I'm gonna pretend that this is my site gallery. Um, so let's say, oh, let's just, see a nice up and down photo. Okay, let's search for happy business woman. <laughs> let's see what comes up. Okay, perfect. I like this. I like this one. So as you can see by her right here, you really want to make sure that the image is like up and down like that. So that's what I'm particularly looking for. So let's say I'm going to go with this one right here and add to page. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and shrink this down just a little bit because again, I want this to attach to the box so that there is just a little bit left on all sides and I can always adjust the box to fit the photo so it looks even on all the sides, okay? All right, so now that those are connected, we wanna make sure that the design elements are connected, perfect and you can attach it to the strip. Yes, that looks really good. Okay, and we can move this up and down as you want once it's attached. So once the main part, and by the way, once the main part is attached, that's when you can then like bring it up a little bit like this, it'll have that like lip on the top, but it'll still be stuck to the main part of the strip. Okay. All right. So that is how you can kind of copycat um, the design element just like that. Obviously, you would be putting more text on there, but hopefully you get the general idea of how to recreate a really cool, vibrant about me section. Oh, I forgot one last element. I am so sorry. Let's go ahead in here and add in the background scroll effects. 
All right, that is the last thing that you want to do. So what she has here, you can see when you scroll up and down, it's like giving that really cool effect in the background. That is this effect right here. It's the reveal one. So that means when I go into save and I click on preview, when I click on preview, now on my own site when I'm doing this, you can see that it's gonna do the same exact thing, which is really, really neat, okay? So hopefully you found this particular design tutorial fun and or helpful. Um, so I am curious, I would absolutely love to see what you are creating. If you're playing around with this, if you're having fun, you're using this on your own site, let me know, feel free to drop your, you know, drop it down below if you've used this on your own site. We would love to see that if you have any questions or requests, please let them or let us know down below as well. If you enjoyed this video, if you'd like to see more content creation and design tutorials, let me know because we can definitely bring more to you. So thank you so much for tuning in here today. If you haven't yet already, hopefully if you're enjoying the content, this has encouraged you to click on the subscribe button and the bell so you get notified when the next video drops. Thank you so much for being here and hanging out with me today and I will see you in the next video.